What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'd like to share with you guys my top five favorite classes to run in multiplayer. I know there's a lot of new players coming to the game because Warzone's a free battle royale, that kind of thing. But there's also a lot of new players purchasing the entire game or the full game now, wanting to experience the multiplayer, the campaign, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to give you my top five favorite multiplayer classes. Now keep in mind, I play Team Deathmatch and Ground War pretty much all the time when I play multiplayer. So these classes are definitely tailored for those uh, game modes now the weapon and the attachments you can use in any game mode but if you play other modes besides ground war team deathmatch you may want to change out your perks and lethals and tacticals these classes will change over time they have changed since the game has released when i first started playing when the game came out and of course when they change again i will bring you an updated video on this but let's go ahead and hop right into it first we're going to talk about perks every class in team deathmatch or ground war i run eod ghost and tracker now, the only exception I will make in Ground War, sometimes I will run Kill Chain. This will allow you to chain your kill streaks together. So, let's say you get a cruise missile, you call that in. If you get enough kills with it, it will chain it to your next kill streak. You do not have to get those with your weapon. Your kill streaks will actually chain to your next streak, kind of like past Modern Warfare titles. But that is the, really the only exception I make in Ground War and in Team Deathmatch. Majority of the time, though, like I said, EOD, Ghost, and Tracker are what I run. When it comes to lethals, I always run a Simtex. And tacticals I always run stem shot. Like I said, if you play different modes than Team Deathmatch or Ground War, you may want to change these up. Now, when it comes to a pistol, I always run the two tone uh, M19. I really haven't leveled up a lot of these pistols besides the, the 357. I don't use them a lot, but I do like to have a pistol as a secondary. That way, if I need to get somewhere quick, uh, quickly, I can pull out that pistol and run a little bit faster. Uh, when it comes to the first weapon here in the list, this is going to be the Ram 7. Now, if you are new to the game, there is a challenge for the Ram 7, so look in your challenge section. Uh, this is one of the weapons in the Battle Pass in Season 1. But first of all, I like to run the Monolithic Suppressor. Uh, then we're going to go with the Forge Tac Eclipse Barrel. Then we're going to go with the Commando Foregrip. Also, the 50-round mag, which is the only mag, uh, actually, mag available for the weapon. And last but not least, the stippled grip tape. Of course, we got a little bit of stuff here for aim down sight speed. Of course, we have some things that are going to reduce our aim down sight speed. But overall, this class has decent mobility, not great, but everything else is pretty good. A little bit of control issues. This weapon does have some uh, recoil issues for newer players. This gun is a great weapon, probably one of the top tier ARs in the game, but it is a little bit difficult to kind of get the hang of to begin with. So kind of stick with it, unlock some stuff, and you will see good success with the Ram 7. The next class that's in the list here, of course, is the tried and true M4A1, which has been one of the best guns in the game from the start. Even though it has been nerfed tons of times, it is still incredible. We're going to go with the monolithic suppressor. We're going to go with the stock M16 Grenadier barrel. You also can go with the Corvus Custom barrel if you want a little bit more mo mobility. But I prefer the Grenadier barrel because I'm running the no-stock attachment. When running the no-stock attachment, you're going to gain more movement speed and aim down sight speed. So you're not going to see a huge disadvantage to running this Grenadier stock. Because it is one of the slower stocks in the game, if you have other attachments on here besides the no-stock, you're going to definitely be a lot slower while ADSing. The next thing, of course, is the Commando foregrip, as always. I'm a big fan of Commando or the Ranger foregrip or the Merc. So you guys kind of decide between those three. Those are the three best grips in the game, in my opinion. Then we're going to go with the 60 round mag, once again, because we have that no stock attachment. As you can see, the mobility is not that bad. But like I said, if you change something, let's just say you went with the Syngard Arms, you went with the M16 stock, you can see the difference in the mobility. So that's why I run the no stock with this attachment. This is a very, very good class with that 60 round mag. You can absolutely destroy enemy teams and get a lot of kills before you ever have to reload. The next class we're going to look at is the mp5 class yet another weapon that has been nerfed a lot since the game has released but it is still one of the top tier weapons in the game now when it comes to what i like to run on the barrel that is the integral monolithic suppressor now you do have the option to drop this and run just a regular monolithic suppressor out here the only reason i choose not to run this on this weapon because it has both options of course the regular monolithic suppressor on the muzzle has two cons where the monolithic suppressor, uh, the integral monolithic suppressor on the barrel only has the one con. So that is why I choose to run it this way. Uh, of course, I'm going to go with the FTA collapsible stock, which gives you movement speed and aim down sight speed. If you're not a big fan of that stock, you don't like it because it gives the gun more recoil, you always can go with something like the aim down sight speed, the close quarter stock, or the TAC ultralight. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to go with, of course, is stippled grip tape, the 10 millimeter uh, auto 30 round mag. 45 round mags are also very good. Don't be fooled by a lot of people saying that the 10 millimeter are a must. 
These are very good if you are accurate. You hit those, uh, you hit those head shots, those upper body shots. If as long as you are very accurate, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter rounds, excuse me, are very good. But don't be fooled. The 45, 45 round mags are almost as good in my opinion, especially if you're not as accurate as you would like to be. So either one of those are great, but I prefer to run the 10 mil, 10 mil rounds. I always try to go for headshots, so those do help out with that extra damage. And then last but not least, the Merc 4 grip for that recoil control and hip fire accuracy. You always can drop the stippled grip tape if you would like and run sleight of hand. If you're going to run the 45 round mags, I would definitely recommend doing that. But if you're going to run the 10 millimeter rounds, you can do the same, but I just prefer the stippled grip tape instead, instead of sleight of hand. Uh, the next class we're going to look at is going to be the MP7. This is also a very, very good SMG. Uh, it's a little bit easier to use, in my opinion, because of uh, the recoil is not as bad as the MP5. I like to go, of course, with the monolithic suppressor as the muzzle. The FSS recon barrel. Now, you can go this with the strike barrel, which is going to be a little less accuracy and a little less control, but a little bit more movement speed there. Not a whole lot, so I'll go ahead and go with the recon. Once again, the reason being is because I run the no stock attachment. Now, if you do not like the no stock attachment because of the recoil control, you always can go once again with the close quarters or the ultralight. Uh, last but not least, or excuse me, the next attachment is going to be the stippled grip tape. And last but not least, the Merc 4 grip. You also can go with the commando or the ranger here. I just prefer the Merc, even though the commando is going to give you a bit more range uh, and a hair bit more control. I just prefer the Merc 4 grip for the recoil control and the hip fire accuracy that it gives you. Mainly the hip fire accuracy is really needed with a sub in close quarters. Last but not least on the list is going to be the SCAR. This is a weapon that was kind of weak to begin with, in my opinion. But as time has gone on, this gun has received some buffs. It is a weapon that you're not going to be able to play extremely fast with. This is a slow handling weapon. This is a weapon that you want to kind of always be ADS, you know, always be looking to the direction you think enemies can be coming from, even if you know somebody's not there, because you will get beat a lot with this gun because it is slow to ADS, and it's just kind of slow moving. You just feel kind of sluggish with the gun, in my opinion. There's a few ways you can fix that, but I prefer to run the compensator, which is going to give us some recoil control. The 17.2 inch barrel, you can go with the 20 inch to get more range, more accuracy, and more control. Just keep in mind, you're going to be a lot slower if you do that. Also, also I like to go with the Commando foregrip for more recoil stabilization. Then I go with the 35 round mag. If you do not have the mags unlocked yet, you only have 20 rounds. You have to relo reload this gun way too much. So make sure you get those mags unlocked before you kind of give up on the gun. Because once you get the 25 and the 30 round mag, I think that's where the gun kind of starts to stand out. And last but not least, the stippled grip tape. Now you can change some things up here if you would like. You could drop the compensator and go with something like, uh, you know, a stock for movement speed, like the collapsible stock. The only issue I have with this is the aim down sight speed is even slower. And then you have to kind of be more aware of being ads at all times, it seems like. So I just prefer the setup like this. Now, keep in mind, if you're going to play with this weapon, with this setup, you have to play a little bit slower, uh, play a little bit more methodical, not necessarily camp, but you may not be able to be as an, a, just a hardcore rusher with this weapon because it does have a little bit of slower handling time. Anyway, guys, I hope these classes helped you out. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. They are the affiliate here on the channel. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.